Hi, recording started. Welcome to the 25th. It's the first quarter century video. So, it's better, as I always say, it's better to watch if you directly shift it to this video for your for clearing your doubts on time and work, pipe system, chain rule. It's better to see my first two videos of this channel or three. Then you can continue your doubts clearing sessions from here. So in last last video, which is 23rd, we started with another topic of quantitative aptitude, which is time and work, pipes and cisterns, chain rule, all these things have the same fundamentals. So we will study together. This video again, before this problem, one concept I just remembered, which I had said in last video, that I am just trying to reflect something and I remembered that, that I will tell which will help us in solving problems on chain rule specially that is direct and inverse relations before that I just remember two three general things number one is what's appearing in this frame only you are seeing that but what's in front of me or the struggle behind the scenes that Till now nobody knows. I just wanted to share with you all that come what may, we need to enjoy the journey that we take, be it for any dream or any work. Second is, I am trying to install projector so that these problems can directly be projected. Of course, even board will be bigger so that it will be a lot more clear, crystal clear will be there. You you can very easily look at the wordings and all. So those things will come. I will just check if I am missing any point. That's all. And one more is live streaming, even with the proper broadband and all. It is not satisfactory. So for time being, I will be just recording offline and I will upload later. But that those experiments will be on. When I get some good technical feedback or technical learnings of the live streaming, I will again come back with the live streaming process. So before proceeding this with this problem, direct and inverse, we need to know these two things: direct relation, inverse relation. It's not it's not just math; it can be applied anywhere. We have this everywhere. Directly proportional is the word we use in mathematics. Proportional. Is it visible? Direct proportional, indirect or inverse proportional. We get this in physics. Everywhere we get, we get this in chemistry because mathematics is the language of physics. Physics is spoken in maths. In direct relation what happens, suppose there are two quantities, x and y. If x increases, y also increases. There is direct relation between the two. When x increases, y also increases. But in inverse what happens, when x increases, y decreases. Inverse, ulta, opposite, direct. See that? I mean, it's a direct relation. X increases, Y increases. X increases, Y decreases. Or if Y increases, X may decrease. Or in other words, if X decreases, Y increases. Here, if X decreases, Y decreases. Or if Y decreases, X decreases. Both the ways it is true. Direct relation, indirect. Here it is. Straightforward here it is reverse order. So at present it may seem how this concept could be related to time work, pipe system or chain rule or anything of the sort. It may seem there is no connection, but when we take up problems, when we solve problems on when we take up actual problems, you will understand uh, the importance of it. For time being. 
So we can take up some examples so that it will help you in proper visualization. It could be x is age, y is height. So when age increases, height increases, it may remain constant at some part of the life but it will never decrease. So when age increases, height increases, it could also be weight. Sometimes there is variation, but general, in general, in the initial stages of our life, when age increases, height and weight and all our growth increases. In another, some general sense you can relate, X is rainfall, Y is yield. So good rainfall, good yield. So in inverse, what examples you can imagine? We will take up just one typical example which will help us in proper visualization. Then we can apply it to the problems. Even that what I will tell. Time is 6 minutes. So in inverse, as you approach the city, your speed decreases. In highways, we can ride fast. But as you approach the city, the speed decreases. They are inversely proportional. The distance so, or else some other you can examples you can imagine which in which we have an inverse relation. When one increases, the other should decrease. I am just trying to recollect some typical example of direct and inverse relation. And actually, if it was a class, by this time I would have got some nice responses from the students but here it's not a class it's a video so I myself need to think mm, inverse relation indirect when there is more crowd there is more noise if they all start talking so that's how, or in inverse, what can be, I just want one typical example, okay, uh, as and when some any examinations approaches the time you dedicate for other activities will also reduce, so even that comes under direct relation. indirect I am not reading example of indirect <laughs> ok let's leave it for time being but I will be thinking when I come up I will just tell and how it helps in problems is yeah in inverse I remember one thing suppose you want to build a wall if there are 10 laborers you have got Suppose they take 10, day, 10 days, if you increase, if number of laborers are 15, definitely days is 10 minus x. I don't know the value of x, but it should be less than 10, that is common sense. So number of people and number of days are inversely proportional. If you just call it men, if you increase men, the days required is reduced. They are inversely proportional. So that is how we apply in problems. That's why I took both the concepts. All that with these fundamentals, we will try to take up a problem. Again, be alert. Don't write anything. Here, what I say because I explain more and write less. 10 men can complete a piece of work in 15 days, and 15 women fifteen women can complete the same work in 12 days. If all the 10 men and 15 women work together, in how many days work get completed? 
or is it work gets completed? All right. So this is a typical problem. It's from the SBI exam from many many years ago, not recent pattern. But it will make us strong in the fundamentals. Time is 10 minutes already. With this problem, we will end this video. In the coming series of videos, we will take up all the possible varieties, first level of the time and work, pipe system or chain rule or anything. So be alert, a piece of work in 15 days, as I explained in the previous video in fundamentals, if work is getting completed in 15 days, in one day, 1 by 15 work is completed by 10 men. Because it's given 10 men can complete a piece of work in 15 days. So in one day it is 1 by 15. Notice here, in how many days work gets completed if all 10 men and 15 men all are working together so if this is of men for this we need to add women women 12 days 15 women can complete the same work in 12 days so in one day it's how much 1 by 12 one day work of men one day work of women from this we will get one day work of all. When you get one day work of all, if you reciprocal that, you will get the number of days in which the work gets completed. We will see. We will just add here LCM is 8, 180 because 15 into 12 and it is 12 plus 15. I will just write directly 12 plus 15, 12 to the 24. 27 by 180, 9 into 3, 9 into 2, 3 by 20 is what, one day, work, one day's work, work, this much work is completed in, this is men's work in one day, women's work in one day, so total work in one day, so for the entire work to be completed it is 20 by 3. Here it was 15, you made it 1 by 15, here it is 3 by 20, so you again make it 20 by 3. And in options, 3 by 20 will be there, 20 by 3 will be there, definitely. In the hurry, many will take this as answer, but 20 by 3 is 100% right answer. Or if you divide it, 23, 3, 6 are 18. So final answer is 6 integer. 2 by 3 days is the could be the option either this will be given or this will be given this will be given so you need to be alert if it is in mixed fraction 6 integer 2 by 3 days if it is proper fraction it is 20 by 3 days and it is 100% right answer time is 30 minutes all right we will end with this problem again in next videos we'll take up some more problems from these topics so take care till then and see you in the coming videos